Hey guys, it's River Thames. In this video, I'm going to be explaining how the Hero AI works in the new PvE modes. Hero AI is included in the two new PvE modes coming to Battlefront 2, Co-op and Instant Action. Co-op, you squad up with four friends online and fight against AI, whereas Instant Action is just offline multiplayer gameplay, being capital supremacy. Having heroes in these modes helps to bring it alive and feel more immersive. So I think the majority of the gameplay you've probably seen has just been Count Dooku as the hero AI. And there's mixed reactions to how he works, because the other dark side heroes weren't available in the game we were using. So we switched over to play co-op as the droids where we had to attack Naboo. This gameplay involves Obi-Wan, Yoda and Anakin as AI enemies, which may help in seeing how they perform to get a better understanding of the new hero AI system. The first concern I see is Dooku blocks a lot. We all realised this and felt it was a bit underwhelming for a hero to not be very intimidating. But this is because DICE want the AI heroes to kind of act like their characters. So Dooku has a more relaxed, calm fighting style and personality. And DICE want to reflect that in the gameplay. That's why he doesn't seem to attack very often unless you get very close to him and because his abilities are close range. However, when speaking to Max, the live producer on Battlefront 2, he says that the heroes will feel different, and for example, Darth Maul will feel more aggressive to play against, using more of his dodges more frequently and sprinting towards you, whereas Dooku to behave in that way wouldn't look too authentic, which is the route DICE want to take with this PvE content, and you know that applies to the maps and the scenarios as well so it makes sense for the clones to defend Kamino not attack it. But yeah like I said we did play against the light side hero AI as well which I'll show gameplay of in the background while I help answer some questions that you guys have asked. So will you receive buffs from them like Yoda's presence and yeah so Yoda does use his presence and the bots around him will get the effects. But because this is co-op, you will be using the heroes yourself, of course. But if you do fight against Yoda, then yeah, he can give his teammates the health buff. Do you know if you can have a proper lightsaber fight against the AI heroes? Do they block, attack, evade, use abilities, or have any combos? Now this is why I really wanted to make this video, because I don't think Count Dooku was the best first impression. But yeah, you can. The AI heroes can jump, use abilities, block and attack. But from what I've experienced, they usually only use abilities when you're in range. They won't actively search for players to attack unless you get close to them. They're very objective and defensive minded, but if you get up close to them, they will duel you in a normal way. Like the clips in the background, it's actually quite challenging to go up against them. And I think players will enjoy it. It's just that you usually have to engage them yourself depending if you're attacking or defending. But I guess we can only wait to see how Maul or Grievous behaves when attacking since they're more aggressive. Will they be era accurate? For now, co-op and instant action is releasing to the Clone Wars era, as kind of the first iteration of the mode, which kind of acts like a test to see if the community enjoys it and gets some feedback on it. And then possibly expand it into the other eras, which is a possibility, but for now these modes are Clone Wars. Can you change the difficulty? In the game that we played, you couldn't, but we have suggested that and the team at DICE know that's a good feature, so we'll see if it's added soon or before the update. But just know that they're aware this is something that the community wants. Can they dash and roll? Yeah, and it depends how often or the heroes you're going up against. Like I said in the beginning, AI heroes will behave differently, so some will be dodging more than others, which is why you see Count Dooku is a very defensive hero and doesn't dodge much, but then Darth Maul and Yoda will be dodging a lot more. Can the AI on your team spawn as a hero? And no, because it's mainly you that the heroes are reserved for, you know, you want to get the hero because some of these co-op missions are quite tough, so for you to be a hero can help you win the game. But for instant action, I'm not sure. It could be cool to see if friendly hero AI, because you know, that is something that would be cool. Up to two heroes, you become one and then an AI will spawn. If that's something you'd like to see, then let me know in the comments and I can forward it over to the DICE team. Do they have infinite stamina? No, they don't. Just under their health bar is a white bar, 
This is their stamina, so you can see when they were run out. And yet, Dooku is blocking a lot, so when his stamina was drained, you could just shoot him at range, since his playstyle isn't very aggressive, and his abilities are up close. But yeah, there is stamina for heroes, they work exactly the same as any other hero that you would fight against in multiplayer. It's just, in these PvE modes, you can actually see the stamina go down. Which was the hardest hero to deal with? I've got to say Yoda. When playing co-op as the droids pushing through Naboo, it was intense, man. Yoda is a tough AI hero to take down. Same with Anakin and Obi-Wan, they're really good and unpredictable to fight against. Which is why I wanted to make this video as I don't think Dooku was the best to present for the reveal of the hero AI. Anakin, Dooku and Obi-Wan are great in this mode. So I hope that's cleared things up for you and helped restore some excitement for the AI heroes and PvE experience. They are a great addition to the modes as it feels more immersive and a lot more fun than just fighting against the same bots and reinforcements at the same time, and especially from what I think you've seen on Kamino with Count Dooku. There is some inconsistencies with the heroes like small glitches and sometimes they may not attack you. And if you're dueling with a hero and someone else shoots them, they turn to whoever is attacking them, kind of like an aim assist. But it is still work in progress and these modes and the hero AI are planned to arrive in September. So there's time to iron out any problems they may have, but please if you have any suggestions or features that you think could improve the hero AI, then let me know. But thanks for watching, if you have any more questions about the hero AI, be sure to let me know in the comments and I'll help you out. It's been River and I'll see you in the next video.